Yeah, I didn't do that. Um, okay. My name is Al Wagner. I'm one of the owners of Anchor Marina. And um, it's been an ongoing battle for many years with, uh, with the everybody, the police, the, the, it's been a nuisance. And I understand that. Um, in 2018, I was severely injured and I've had probably a dozen operations. So I haven't been around that much in the last five years, which has resulted in a lot of the problems you've heard. Um, the power was shut off in January of 22. PG&E came out and took a look at it with code enforcement because so many people had been stealing the power and cutting the wires. I had shown the police many, many times what was going on and everything is a, a civil matter. So uh, PG&E finally said, we're, we're not going to take a chance with this anymore. Shut it off. When the, uh, the boat pulled up and burnt my dock, one of, one of my docks, um, it didn't release gasoline and, and other in the water. It released a, about a quart, and, and I'm being sued heavily for that. So, um, But I made sure that I talked to the fire department, and I said, look, I, I know you want all this power killed, which I tried to do. The second you turn your back, all the power's on again. And this is just, unless you're there babysitting, it's a free-for-all. And I, I made sure that, I told the fire department, I said, look, I want to make sure that everybody here that, that's out on the docks, there's people that live on the docks and they need to go too, but that those people get something, some help, because some of them don't have anything. So they came out, the Red Cross came out and gave everybody 500 bucks. Most of it went into drugs. Um, nobody left, because I was telling everybody, you got to leave. Uh, as far as the abatement, that was uh, something we agreed on in September of 21. I couldn't do the physical things I used to do to clean the place up constantly. And Conrad and um, Joe Lasado and an attorney, a couple of, of police, we were all there and we had a meeting and they said, we'll, we will be happy to knock off the fines if you agree to abatement, which would probably be 80 or 100 grand. And I said, absolutely, please abate this property. I'm one person, I can't go out there and babysit. All these pieces, as far as an RV park goes, even if, it was a, even if we did have the land use permit like they wanted us to get, they can't be there more than 21 days and they have to leave. They have to, in Contra Costa County, the 21 day limit on that. And, and they can go, they gotta be gone for 24 hours and then come back. So if you can to, wrap up on pardon that, me? two minutes. So wrap, if any, just spend two minutes. Please abate this place Thank you. Okay. so I can sell it and move on. Right. And everybody else can move on. Thank you. Thank you. You have two minutes, thank you. Hello, my name is Dawn Salmaniego. I am a long-term resident of this marina. <clears throat> 